Welcome to Social Videos, my name is Joan, and today we are back on UBC campus. Is it kind of awkward because I'm just filming as everyone's walking around on the middle of my school campus, but we're doing this. It is the first week of the second term of my third year here. I wanted to make a video kind of documenting my first week back to school and also how I'm preparing for my new upcoming classes and new schedule after the winter break. Before we can start classes, however, we need to prepare for them. So we've got to rewind to the day before school starts. And I always like to start off my school term with a bit of self-care. some work since today is the last day of break i've already gone through my ipad which i use a lot at school and cleared out all of its storage and also just organized some school things and i've also gone through my laptop cleared out most of the storage as well i've also customized it in a more aesthetic way to give it a fresh new start for the new school term i'll actually have a separate video for that but to quickly show you guys what i did I basically made my own dynamic wallpapers that change according to the time of day. So this is daytime, the sunset, which it's at right now, nighttime, and this is sunrise slash morning. Not only that, but I didn't even know this before, but you can change the icons, the folder icons. Now, I would just like to flex real quick because I'm definitely not an artist, but I'm so proud of these, my little goose man. Also to start off my new school year, I've put up my 2024 New Year's resolutions, which I don't usually like write out my resolutions. I feel like writing them down really cements them and I decorate it with cute stickers and I put it right here. So I have to see it every time I sit down and either get disappointed or motivate myself to do better. I've also invested in a new teapot with wonderful tea as another way to kind of stay motivated and hopefully calm and a little less stressed than I usually am during the school term. I also did a bit of dusting and cleaning earlier, so I got a new monitor stand, new keycaps as well. Everything looks a bit less cluttered now and a bit more clean, which is wonderful. Right now I'm figuring out my storage and clearing out my storage for my PC, which I use for YouTube and also for school when I'm at home. Time for this to come off. Ooh. Wonderful. Look at that glow. This was also a good timing to do this because turns out it's going to be super, super cold during the first week of school and it also might snow. So I'm about to turn into a dry, crackly mess. I have left my prison. <laughs> Here are also some more things I did to prepare for the new school term. First thing is I prepared my notes. So I usually use GoodNotes to take my notes for school. And so what I like to do is to make folders for each of the classes I have, along with creating notebooks. I usually will edit these throughout the week, however, because I like to adapt my note taking and studying depending on the class. Some classes are just straight up handwritten notes from within lecture. Some are pre-reading notes. There's also annotating lecture slides and so on. But later in the video, I talk a bit more about the logic and thinking that goes behind deciding how I study for the classes. So stay tuned for that if you're interested. Now I'm also setting up my Notion for the new school term. And I mainly use Notion to keep track of my school assignments and homework because I really like their labeling system. So I like to label things by the class, by the type of task it is, whether it's a reading assignment, whether it's a quiz. I can view my tasks based on what classes they're part of, and I can also set due dates as well. I also utilize Google Calendar as more so of my schedule throughout the week and the months, putting things such as important dates, events, classes, and meetings. I definitely didn't get sidetracked starting to watch the new Percy Jackson TV series, and I also made my new expense form for the new year. One of my goals is to be more financially responsible, so this is hopefully the first step towards that. We'll see how active this thing still is halfway through the year. I think we're ready to go. I'm just gonna try to have a chill night before facing the chaos that is the new school term. Good morning. It is the official first day. Right now I'm just getting ready for school. I made some avocado toast, beautiful breakfast. I also made a matcha latte. Hot because supposedly today's supposed to be super cold and maybe even snowing. And I haven't waken up this early in like all of winter break. So I definitely need a matcha latte to wake me up. 
are so much hotter than I thought it'd be. Thankfully, on the first few days of class, while I can't say that we don't do anything because we definitely, I think for university, do get started even on the first day, people do call it syllabus week for a reason because usually at least a good portion of the first class is just going over the course and going over the syllabus. It's usually the first or second class where I usually can determine how I want to study and learn in the class, each class being different with different lectures and different styles. Well, I used to pre-plan for as much as I could for all the classes. I don't really do that anymore because it's kind of a waste of time when I realize that some things that I do won't work for some classes. Today is just to get my bearings, learn what my classes are gonna be like. I need to get back in the academic weapon mindset. Also, I realized I never did an introduction, so I might as well do one now. Hi, I'm Joan. I'm a third year student studying integrated sciences at UBC or the University of British Columbia on the Vancouver campus. This is the second term of my third year. Also on that note, happy new year. And now also would be a good time to tell you guys that I am a commuter student, so I actually still live at home. I don't live on campus. I do need to leave in about like Actually, I'm already late, it seems like, but <laughs> I do need to transit onto campus. Unfortunately, it takes me about like 50 minutes to maybe an hour, which is honestly average commute, I feel like. But you guys can also see what the life of a commuter is like. Let's get changed and get out of here. It's flurrying right now. Gross. <laughs> finished the first class. Right now I'm heating out my lunch. Even though I was basically halfway late, I still made it to the actual lecture part of the class. But later I'll talk about what I'm gonna do for each of my classes, like how I'm gonna take notes, I might like thinking behind it, maybe that can help you guys as well. But right now I'm gonna eat lunch and then head over to my next two classes, which will end off the rest of my school day. <laughs> Enough singles in the The Grinch? Because we saw <laughs> We call her the Biomed Girl. She's one of my favorites. Yeah, I also really like her. <laughs> Jin Sook, we know by name now. Because obviously, walking dude. Manly dude. <laughs> <laughs> I was like. <laughs> Thank you. Whoa, this is such a long room. We can run up and down through this extended uh, horizontal <laughs> it's so It's good to see fun. everybody here. I see a lot of familiar. So if you're looking for uh, the right class, this is the next level details of these pretty, but they were quantitative, smallpox, etc. We're finished with our classes for the day. I'm gonna go gym and then we're gonna go back home and study. Already studying. Academic weapon! <laughs> One of my New Year's resolutions is to prioritize my health. This is my first time going back to the gym in like almost a month, I'd say. So we're just gonna take it easy. <laughs> Why does this look so funny? We are at Shoppers Drug Mart because another thing we like to do before school starts is get snacks. <laughs> Study snacks and late night snacks. We've made it back home and now it's time to get started on the grind of figuring out everything that just happened today and also all my classes. Usually the kind of first few steps I like to do, especially after a lecture, is to go through the syllabi. In the first class, usually the props will go through the syllabus, but I personally just like to read it again all the way through thoroughly myself. And then also just explore like the home page of whatever program like the classes uses. And I've also throughout the day and right now, I'm just noting down important dates, so like midterm dates for example, or if we have any projects that are due to put that as well on my calendar and also on my Notion where I keep track of all my assignments and exams. 
after that, I usually, what I'll do is plan out how I'm going to study and like take notes. That's been my rationale for like past classes I've had and also for the classes I have this term. If a class is, for example, really, really fast paced and has a lot of information that I really want to take notes on basically everything that happens in lecture and the lecture slides either have too much stuff on it or too little or they're just not consistent, I actually end up typing my notes on like a Google Docs or something. I'm able to put down information a lot faster and I can also reorganize and look through the information just all in one doc, neat and tidy. Most of the time though, I do like handwriting my notes. This helps with the organization, especially if it's a class that uses cheat sheets. I'll take notes I've already written and just format them on the cheat sheet so I don't have to rewrite everything. Nowadays, I do a lot more like annotating on lecture slides. I can always transfer the information on the lecture slides to my notes later, so post-lecture notes. And it also helps me just pay more attention to actually what the prof is saying. As an example, one of my classes I had today they seem to have a lot of information like on the slides, like the prof just reads from the slides. The speed that my prof goes at, I can't keep up writing all the stuff that's on the slides. So I think we'll annotate the slides for this one, highlight any important information, and then just transfer anything I want to my actual notes. That's just kind of some rationale that I think about when I am planning out how to study for my courses. For the rest of the day, I'll just be organizing all the information I've gathered today. Tomorrow we'll have a different set of classes, and then on Wednesday we'll have these classes all over again, and it'll actually be like more similar to how the semester and classes will run. Good morning. It is actually pretty late into the next day. It's like 10 a.m. I got to sleep in because my first and only class of the day is at like 3.30. I'm supposed to have a lab today as well, but since it's the first week, labs usually don't run as well as tutorials. But for this week, there is a self-led one that I need to do, so I think I'll be trying to do that before I need to head out. I finished my physics lab. Quick fit check before I leave i think after class i'm going to head to the gym just to make sure that my time going to campus is worth it and it's leg day so i'm probably gonna die so i'll see you guys when all that's done I finished my workout at the gym. If anyone has any tips on how not to be nauseous after a leg day, that would greatly be appreciated. I have just learned that not one, but two of my classes are canceled tomorrow. I technically only have one class tomorrow then, and it is my morning class at 9 a.m. It's only 50 minutes long. I really don't know if I want to go to campus just for that class. Okay, thankfully that class does have lecture recording, so I think that's just what I'm going to go with. I'm not going to go to class. I'm going to watch a recording. Yeah, because I don't... Uh, 50 minutes, an hour and a half commute there and back. That doesn't seem like it makes any sense. This is weird. This is like the most chillest first week back I've had so far. It's like the calm before the storm. I can feel it. The class I had today was very interesting. I was kind of stressed because it is a small class because it is a very much upper year course. The higher you go, the smaller the classes get. And I felt very out of place for someone who does not study biology as their like main major. And I, unfortunately, am not that interested in plants, but it is a course I have to take. Also, they had technical difficulties for like 20 minutes, so we kind of just sat there watching as the IT guy struggled with the projector. Every course kind of has that moment, but it was just kind of awkward for the first class. I think for the rest of the day, I'm just gonna do as much work as I can and also just take it easy. Since the universe is giving me time to chill, I will chill. And maybe redo my nails for a bit more self-care because they're kind of flaking off. Good morning. The only class I was supposed to have today has already passed. I slept through it, but like, again, that was planned. I was not coming to school for only one class. And it's recorded, so we'll probably watch it later. I just woke up, ran some errands, and I guess for the rest of the day, catching up on the missed lecture, 
doing the notes on the videos that my other class assigned to us. One of my classes has like a 20 page reading for like Tuesday next week so I'll probably get started on that as well. I'm also doing some community service or volunteering later in the afternoon. I guess you guys can kind of see what a chiller day in my life will look like. <laughs> also new nails. I finished them last night. I got carried away. <laughs> okay, this happens quite often when I have spare time, but I'm still definitely in like the school mindset. I find myself going down a rabbit hole of figuring out what I want to do for the summer and also just a lot of other extra stuff that comes with university that I feel like people don't talk about, especially in science. Basically, especially as a third year right now, I think there's a lot of emphasis on growing your skills and experience to help your career for when you graduate. And there's actually a lot of resources, I think, to be found on getting stuff like research experience, internships, but it definitely takes a lot of work and time to find all of them. And for some reason, I find myself looking at stuff I want to do over the summer and just doing a lot of research on that right now. I've literally been going at it for like an hour and I didn't even realize. I don't know if this is like the opposite of like doom scrolling on TikTok. I guess maybe it's the more like productive version, but just look at all of these things I have here. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think that's kind of one of the things I found out about university is that the university experience itself is not really, in terms of classes, really stressful or crazy. It's more of the extra stuff that you kind of need to do to be a successful student. But yeah, I guess first week back to school, I'm already panicking about what I want to do over the summer. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap it up here because I really gotta get started on work, eat some lunch, and just move on with my day. Guys, I have a confession. Once again, my plans have been derailed. I don't have enough time to do any lecture notes. It's okay, I will do them tonight. I kinda ran out of time and now I'm just kinda watching the finale of Singles Inferno. Listen, the sooner I get done with watching this, the sooner I can get back to my work because I'll have nothing else to distract me, right? Right? Yes, okay, I'm gonna watch a bit more. Dude, Hobbit is just gonna be left on Inferno. Dude, Wanik knows he's gonna lose, right? Yeah, I think so. Yay! <laughs> Made it to my volunteering. So I guess a really quick rundown is that I volunteer at a kids physiotherapist office place. Physio physical therapy place. <laughs> it's been really fun. I've done it all first term and I'm gonna come in for my first shift for this new winter term. I basically get to help kids do their exercises, kind of play with them, make it fun for them to actually do physical therapy. I actually like it a lot. I am back home after volunteering and dinner. Wonderful dinner, by the way. I love Korean food. And for the rest of the night, I will be catching up on the stuff that I was supposed to do this morning. Just gonna do the notes for today's classes, videos, watching lecture. The to-do list starting to rack up. So let's get started on a productive evening. because the last time it snowed super hard at UBC. Um, people got stranded here for like the whole night until buses started up to run again. Let's just hope that doesn't happen. I can't see where I'm going. Tell me how it's literally getting worse by the minute. I'm really worried about the whole snow situation. Probably not gonna gym anymore. Not worth it, especially if I get stranded here. Oh, it's on my floor. 
three. That's only gonna get to four, four. This right here can be the workout instead. Um, keeping in mind that a lot of these people were interpreted. Um, was these guys in the back? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's actually snowed a lot. Oh, sh that's cold. I love wine up in front of us. If anyone hasn't told you to not take later classes, me, I'll be the one to tell you. Don't take classes later than 3 or 4 p.m. if you can. Because transit gets disgusting. I have to deal with lineups like this. This lineup goes all the way around, by the way. Wonderful. Approximate time says it's going to take about 50 minutes. That's the bus I started. Uh, you can't even see it anymore. This is a new bus. And up front, there's another bus. Tell me that's not literal ice. of snow what is going on man it's like the apocalypse it's 9 30. i love campus at 508 it is now 9 30 and i'm finally at home getting ready to eat a good meal my reward for an eventful night you know every time i think like a vlog week is like starting to get boring or just isn't that eventful i just end up eating my words i really should watch that here's to a Honestly, chill night. I did most of my work in the bus. Just gotta take it easy, sleep a little early, you know? Just get rid of all the stress that's accumulated over the last like four hours. <sighs> Good morning. It is the last day of the first week and it is so cold right now. It's definitely in the negatives. My first class I didn't end up going to just because I was worried about the commute in the morning, especially with all the snow and ice that's still here. I'm just gonna watch the recording for that. I'm gonna be going to my second class, which isn't recorded, and it's kind of an important class to go to. It's probably really the main reason why I'm even going to class because the class I have right after that is on Zoom. This week is such a weird week because it's definitely not conventional. I will probably end up going to the gym. Yeah, that's the basic gist for the day, so let's get on to campus. Go, 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 please, please, please. Ooh, 
bubble teas. Mm. Mm. This is an honorable mention to Jen Maicha, which is this amazing roasted tea. It literally smells so good. I feel so tired for some reason. This week has felt so long, so long. I feel like I've been at school for like a month now. Does anyone also feel that the university is like draining? I don't know how I got through high school, but the plan for my final day, we gotta catch up on the lectures that I didn't go to today. <laughs> and I got some other club stuff I need to finish as well. Thank you. Oh, I just spilled tea, no. If anything, this vlog is just like, a recording of how much of a mess I am right now. <laughs> okay friends, it is the end of the night and the end of the first week back at UBC for the 2024 year. Hopefully it was just like a real raw experience for you guys to see what my university life is like. I wanna wish you guys a happy new year and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.